Welcome again. Let's see about what are the mnemonics that can be used to remember the branches of the arteries of head and neck region. Branches of external carotid artery. Here are some mnemonics for the branches of external carotid artery. There are more. Let's get one and look at it. She always likes friends over papa, sister and mama. I hope you can relate with letters. Let's talk. Some branches of these branches. Facial artery. Use first letter of each word in this sentence. Two zombies bite my cat. Next time. Branches of the maxillary artery. I have never got a chance to use this mnemonic in my student life. But I included this because someone may be interested about it. Superior thyroid artery is another branch of external carotid artery. You can use this mnemonic. But remember, thyroid in here stands for cricothyroid branch. Let's see what are the contents of carotid sheath. Here you have to remember that in lower levels, common carotid artery is in the carotid sheath. But in higher levels, there is internal carotid artery, not common carotid artery. Subclavian artery is a branch of aorta. Covered area includes the branches of subclavian artery. Use Vitsi to remember the main branches of subclavian artery. As it says like C, there is no Y there. C is the name of the letter C. Vertebral, internal thoracic and thyrocervical branches are given by the first part of the subclavian artery. The second part of the artery gives costal cervical trunk. Third part doesn't give branches. Some also use this mnemonic. This includes main branches and also branches of the main branches. However, I don't use this. Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet again from another video.